What's up, Buck fans? Real Bucks Talk back here yet again. Let's do a film study today. Steve McClendon, nose tackle from the Jets. Jason Light went out and got another run stuffer, nose tackle. Plus, what do you think of him initially? Was he do well? Was he do not so well? Yeah, I mean, Steve is a veteran guy, 34 years old. He came over from Pittsburgh. He originally started there, and then he went to New York, and now he's the Tampa Bay Buccaneer. But what he does well is is pretty much a little bit of everything. Uh, he's a good good guy to you know put in the rotation. He can stop the run as you see there, but he's just assignment sound. Like he's going to use good technique. He's going to be in the right place, and he's going to play team defense. And he does that here, just getting good inside penetration, and really just holding uh, the running back here to make the decision first. Really has nowhere to go. And that's just a good job, uh, you know, collapsing and making the play. That was just disruption on that play. But we keep going, middle of your screen again. McClendon just using that center to kind of hold up the line, looking behind him, that little sneak peek right there, and then just makes the play, disengages, gets his arm on him, stops him, minimal gain. This is literally what you see all day, every day with our nose tackles, defensive tackles. They just want to stop the run first. And that's what Steve McClendon does really, really well. I mean, that's why I want you to be consistent with it. It looks obnoxious. I keep showing something that's so similar, but it's what he does well, and that's what the Bucks want him to do. So it's don't overstep your boundaries, be assignment sound, stop the run first. Again, still always look in the backfield. Looks like the same play, but it's not. Yeah, I mean, McClendon is just really good with his hands, as you see there, good extension. Uh, he's going to be patient. He's not going to over-pursue um, or get out of position. So... He's just a really smart football player. He kind of reminds me of Clay McDonald, but a little bit more bigger and athletic um, and, and can really just hold his ground. And, and that's what we have to have on our D-line. Um, here again, you're going to see him lined up in kind of a three-tech position here. Uh, and really just look at that power there he shows, really just pushing the guy, forces the running back to go back the other way. Uh, and and that's, that's our defense, right? Because we want to force these guys to go back into our speedy linebackers um, to to make these tackles for loss and and that's what you know he does there just assignment sound and and really good football integrity just doing your job right so this side of the field that's contain this side of the field don't worry about what everyone's doing behind you or next to you just do what you got to do first which is beat the man in front of you occupy space fill in gaps and then try and get after it after but if you're forcing this is play side they're going towards your side they're saying they can't they can run on that side. He said, no, you can't. I'm disengaging. But the thing is, everyone else is eating because they're, it's their side of the field. So I just really like how sound he is, especially in the running game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's just making other guys around him better. Uh, been a really underrated defensive tackle here in the league for the last couple of years. So to be reuni reunited with Todd Bowles, I think he's definitely happy about that. And coming into a defense where – you can do things like this, lining up next to William Golson and Dominic and Sue, et cetera, uh, Nacho as well. This is what, you know, this defense is all about. Just playing your man the right way, holding up gaps, making sure guys can run free. I mean, look at that gap there. He just closed it quickly um, and, and just playing team defense. And especially with our linebackers, they're going to be able to get in there and, and make, make football plays like this. This is a really good job, just holding his guy and then closing down the line, so. And the thing is just his extension, keeping the lineman off of his chest. Like he's on his chest, extend arm, extend arm, disengage, get after the ball. Awareness where you're at in the field, where, where the ball's at, and he's trying to make the play. So it's a lot of good things, a lot of things that you can see that would work in this defense. And again, Todd Bowles has used this dude before. He knows what he's capable of. And supposedly he's a really good locker room guy too. Yeah, very high character. Um, you know, he's been a team captain, I believe, before. So, yeah, this guy is is really a, a really underrated player and just a solid veteran that you're going to bring to your to your team. Uh, and here, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna offer some pass rush ability as well. I mean, you look at this play here, um, kind of gets thrown out of play, but then he fights back towards the quarterback um, and affects the throw here. So, really good job of not getting too far away from the play. You know, he understands there's a play run fake there. So then he sees it with his eyes quickly and then just resets and, and makes a, a nice play on the quarterback, gets his hands on there. Yeah, just like how his eyes are always on the ball. Like he immediately right. knows, okay, he didn't get it. He's already starting to stop because he feels this lineman's trying to push him out of the play. It's not like he's trying to run block. 
So he just keeps continuing through. This is like a Sue sack. Like where he doesn't get the sack, but still a Sue pressure where he just keeps pushing. Mm -hmm. It's not like a great move. It's just more a motor to get after the quarterback. This one I really like. So he's going to be here with Quentin Williams right next to him. This is just destruction. 75 is going to try and down block on him. And then McClendon says, no, you're going backwards. So And then Williams ends up making a play, but that's destruction. <laughs> what else can you call it? Plus a fumble. They almost get it. Would you like? Yeah, I, this is really nice to see because he shows like really good athleticism here. Again, just getting into his guy's uh, chest plate there, knocking him back, and then just continuing to fight till the whistle blows. I mean, he's continued to pursue the quarterback. Yeah, Quinn and Williams shows great uh, quick first step there, so he gets the initial pressure um, and makes the play. But yeah, McClendon right there behind him uh, to follow up. So yeah, just really good technique. I mean, he's he's winning there, and that's that's what you want from uh, your defense alignment. And big body, stops a run. The Jets game, he got <laughs> he got flagged and I think thrown out of this game. But still, like, look at the pressure he's causing here. One arm's him here. One arm longer than two. Right in the chest plate of the guard. Keep forcing him back. And then he's going to throw the ball. I can't get there to make the sack. So let me get my hand up. Tip this thing and look what the result is. Interception. Yeah, big play. So, yeah, this is definitely what he can bring. Again, he's a pocket mover. You know, he's not going to be like, you know, beating guys with a lot of moves as far as like, uh, you know, pass rush moves, but he's, no he's a guy that, <laughs> yeah, he, he's not, but again, he's a guy that can push the pocket and make plays um, and, and affect things. I mean, there's a nice little swim move there um, that you like seeing. Um, and then, yeah, really knocks the quarterback there. I thought that's a clean hit. You know, he hits him right when he throws it, maybe a little bit too much helmet contact, but that's really nice. I mean, that's what you want to see. I mean, this is a Sue move all day. I mean, he's almost yeah. like a poor man Sue, in my opinion. But, <laughs> I mean, Golson's done that a couple times this year. But, mm -hmm. okay, so what does he do to 64 here? Uh, I guess he, he destroys him. Push. <laughs> but still, it, he's not the most athletic guy, but he's going to cause a little bit of dis disruption, right? Yeah, this is just, I, this is funny. Like, that is just, <laughs> that, that is great. I mean, just throw 64 out of the way you're like you're not going to beat me so i'm just going to chuck you you're going to lose balance and then a nice move by J uh, jacoby Brissett, but well, man. otherwise i see him fitting in very nicely here in tampa bay hopefully he can get on the field soon because of covid restrictions but other than that guys hope you like the film study of steve mcclendon with that said like subscribe comment down below and until the next one